thanks again for stopping by to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to make a DIY graduation basket for that special college graduate in your life. I have two best friends that graduated this year. I know with everything going on, my heart just goes out to every single graduate this year. Graduating college is such a big accomplishment for anyone. The least that I can do is try and cheer up my two best friends that have just graduated college. And it's funny because tomorrow I will be going on a photo shoot with them. I'm going to be taking their photos because they helped me take my photos when I graduated. I'm surprising them with these gift baskets that I don't even know about. By now, this video is way after the fact that I gave it to them, so they know. I hope everyone enjoys this tutorial and let's get into it. So the first basket is for Ariana and one of the items I made was this champagne flute. So we are going to open Cricut Design Space and type out her name. I'm using the font Brittany and changed it to all lowercase because I didn't like the uppercase and it wouldn't have fit on the champagne flute. I'm going to adjust the letter sizing so they all connect since this is a script font and then the appropriate size was about four inches long so I changed it to that length. Once you're done, you can weld it and then have the Cricut cut the vinyl and then we'll remove it from our mat and start weeding. Then we can take our transfer tape and place it on the vinyl and use the scraper tool to ensure that it'll stick to our tape. Now we can prep the glass by taking some rubbing alcohol and a cotton ball and then lightly rub it on the glass. Once it's dry, remove the backing from the transfer tape and place it on the glass carefully. Smooth it out with the scraper tool to make sure there are no bubbles. Remove the tape when you're ready and look at how beautiful it came out. Now we can get our basket, which is from Target by the way, and some filler from the Dollar Tree. I use this stuff all the time and it looks so pretty for any basket or box. I'm going to drop it in the basket and spread it out and add some more. I also bought this cute ring dish from Francesca's and this butterfly necklace. Then we have our champagne flute and we cannot forget about the champagne. I ended up switching the two because I didn't like how it looked. So I also bought a card and then filled it out with some wise words and then placed the name card in the basket, which I will show you guys how I made that in just a bit. Punch some holes and take some twine to tape it to the back of the basket so it stays intact. And now we are done with Ariana's basket. Now for Nicole's basket, I made her the adorable friends themed shirt, which I've seen so many people make and post about. So let's open up Cricut Design Space again and use the font Gabriel Weiss, which can be found on Defont for personal use only. I added 2020 underneath and put the saying, the one where they were quarantined, so it's like how they name their episodes. I adjusted the letter spacing and the letter spacing for seniors as well because that's where we will put the red, yellow, and blue dots in between each letter. Of course, save your work and then I adjusted the sizing to my liking. The order should be red, yellow, blue since that's how the Friends logo is. I then selected all of the dots and grouped it. I then grouped the word seniors because you'll want the Cricut to cut them on separate mats due to the color difference. I 
adjusted the sizing a bit and changed it to white. Once that was done, I welded it and sent it to the Cricut. I began to weed the design. Cut these small dots so they could fit on the t-shirt. I preheated my t-shirt before placing the design on. Make sure the design is straight and even and then you can heat press. I didn't do it for the full 15 seconds because I had to add the dots, so I removed the carrier sheet and added the dots, put the carrier sheet back on, and heat pressed. Then I removed the small carrier sheet from the dots, put the bigger one on, and lightly heat pressed again so it was on the shirt. Now for the name cards, I measured the card and made a small black square template, then added their names in the cute font Libe Finden, I'm pretty sure that's how you announce it, which is again for personal use only from Defont. changed the colors to white and adjusted the sizing. I then welded them and sent it to the Cricut for the vinyl setting. Once the Cricut was finished, I cut them and saved the scrap vinyl, weeded it, and then added my transfer tape. Once it was adhered, I took my cards from Target, removed the stick from the back, and adhered the names to the cards. Nicole's basket is also from Target and I again took the filler, then rolled up the t-shirt and bought this cute wine bell from Francesca's. I also added some Burt's Bees in there, which is her absolute favorite. And we can't forget about the champagne again. Then I took the name card, I punched the two holes, added the twine, and tied it to the back of the basket. I filled out her card and finished her basket. And this tutorial is complete with these cute DIY graduation baskets. And that is it for today's video. I hope everyone enjoyed this video and these baskets that I made for the girls. I hope whoever tries this tutorial at home, please tag me in it or comment down below if you have. Send some pictures to me because I'd love to see their reactions to it. I hope everyone is having a great day as always. And I will see everyone in the next video. Bye!